Hey guys, ZeroTech00 here, and today we are gonna test the Avast Premium Antivirus versus the WannaCry Ransomware. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into the first test. The first test is gonna be with all the protections on, as you guys know usually. So, without any further ado, I'm gonna run the WannaCry Ransomware with all the protections on in 3, 2, 1. And as we guys can see, the WannaCry Ransomware has got infected and stopped by the Avast Antivirus, as we can see here. Just know, guys, I also turned off the Ethernet because I don't want any any problems. You know, I don't want to infect someone by mistake or something. So I decided to take this precaution as well. So yeah, without any further yapping, let's get straight into the second test. Okay, guys. So for the second test, I'm gonna run the WannaCry Ransomware with the Behavior Shield deactivated on the Avast Premium Antivirus. So without any further ado, let's run the WannaCry Ransomware again in three, two. One. And as you guys can see again, the Avast Antivirus has detected and stopped the WannaCry Ransomware for infecting the, the system this time as well. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into the third test as well. Okay guys, so for the third test, I'm gonna run the WannaCry Ransomware once again, but this time with the file shield the protection deactivated as we can see here on the Avast Premium Antivirus. So without any further ado, let's run the WannaCry Ransomware once again in 3, 2, 1. And as we guys can see, uh, we did get infected, but as we can see again, the Avast Antivirus has detected some weird activity, as we can see here, threat protected, it detected uh, that the WannaCry.exe is infected with this uh, malware, I mean basically, this is the malware of it. So yeah, we are obviously gonna move it to the quarantine section and then I'm gonna try to do a scan and also reactivate all the protections once this is done. And yeah, there we go, it's done. Uh, it seems like it tells us to restart the system, so yeah. We are gonna restart the system and then we are gonna see if everything's fine or not. And as we guys can see, the system restarted with success. We don't have any problems for now. We do see these very weird files that came with the WannaCry ransomware. I'm gonna try to delete them and I'm not gonna get further into the last test since the third test was almost a failure. So it didn't fail it but it was a close call. So proceeding to the last test will be a very risky choice. So I guess we are gonna stop there. But obviously before taking any conclusions, I'm gonna check Task Manager for any malware that could still run from the WannaCry ransomware or any suspicious activity. And as we can see, sorry about that, we don't have any anything suspicious running in background, so that's a very that's very good news. And yeah, before before taking any final conclusion, let's do a scan as well. A smart scan because that should be enough and if everything seems to be fine, we are gonna do a last restart and if everything is absolutely fine, then we will take the conclusion. Alright, let's do the smart scan. And as you guys can see here it says no malware found, which is a very good news about the system. And yeah, everything seems to be fine, I think we are gonna proceed with next. Yeah, we do have some system setting issues, but... They are not related to the ransomware. And now with that, let's do a restart as well and see if the system is 100% fine from the target test. Alright, I restarted it and now I'm gonna wait for the system to reboot. And as you guys can see, the system rebooted just fine. And once again, it doesn't seem like anything suspicious is happening with the system. Let's actually check the details as well, just to see if anything sus could be running here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we are not in Among Us, but you guys got the point. Let's just uh, check the system's resources. And once again, we don't really see anything suspicious. We do see this thing, which I'm not really sure from where it comes, but it's probably not related. Yeah, it's just something from the system 32, so once again, it's not a malware. It's probably something that is related to the system and it shouldn't be a bad thing but yeah other than that we don't see anything suspicious running in background or any malware or anything like that so as a conclusion Avast did a good job and I recommend you guys to keep all your protections on even if you use Avast, Windows Defender or any other antiviruses 
having all the protections on matters a lot and obviously are gonna get infected if you have some protections off so keep all of them on and just be careful where you are going because sometimes you don't really have to have an antivirus you also need some common sense and that's all thank you guys for watching this video and have a great day or a great night bye bye